Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. So let's see if I can make this work. I tried to set an event this morning, wasn't the best. I'm here using this yo-yo, but why am I using the yo-yo? So imagine me on an escalator, and that escalator is, is going down. While I'm on that escalator, I'm using the yo-yo, up and down and up and down. So you see me going this way, but you see the yo-yo going up and down as it goes down on the escalator. There's the downward trend, let's say, in the rates. So let's get into where the rates are and show you a little bit about what that analogy means and how it relates to our rates. Let's go here to the charts. Remember, upward on the mortgage bonds is downward on the rates. So you see, imagine in this case, the escalator is going up, which means the rates are going down. And the whole time it's up and down and up and down and up and down, uh, you know, and it's, it's kind of like me with not knowing how to use a yo-yo very well. <laughs> it's not a great yo-yo either. Uh, it's one of these promotional items from one of the lenders. But the point is you want to catch and lock someone's rate in at that low point. You want to catch it when the yo-yo is at its bottom. Kind of like when the yo-yo is at its bottom, you want to pull up hard. The laws of physics go for the physical things like the yo-yo the same way they do for things like interest rates and markets. When you hit that bottom point, it bounces back up. I said that last week in my video that you got you to gotta be ready, you got to be in it to be able to lock. So here we hit the highest point I was talking about last week. We kind of a little bit of up and down and boom, we came back up, we passed through this Fibonacci level. Right there, three clients we locked. Three that were ready, three that listened to me when I said, listen, just get the application in, the rate's gonna come back. We got them through underwriting. So finally it came through, boom, locked them in, really great rates. Uh, and of course, since then you can see how the mortgage bonds have done in these last few days. So rates are not as low as they were last week at that one day where we locked in those clients. We have more to lock, but they weren't quite ready yet. We're still floating those refinances. Uh, we're locking a lot of our purchases. It all depends. Some we're still waiting because we have more time. So talking about what's going on here, I talked about uh, the inverted yield curve. And let's see where that is. It, it came close again today. Uh, last few days, it hasn't really come close again. It hasn't inverted again, but here it looks like it came close. And today was actually a pretty crazy day. You see we're down 11 basis points, but I want to show you the intraday just so you see what, um, what a crazy day we had. Because when I uh, first got an alert, I was out all day on appointments, but when we first got an alert this morning, the, we were down, I think, 14 basis points. So remember, down on the basis points means up in the rate. Uh, so we went all the way down here and that's where everyone's rates came out and then we came up and up and down. Actually, the line chart's a little better to see. There you go. Uh, so up here, some new rate sheets came out and then it came right back down to the low and up here. So it's, it's this up and down that happens even throughout a day. So if the person you're working with isn't monitoring this properly and isn't on top of it, and let's say you get a rate change up here, which means a low rate, and you don't lock in in time because then they take away that low rate. You know, it's, it's constantly fluid uh, and you always have to look out for it. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to give you the analogy of the yo-yo on the escalator. That escalator is going to continue going down. What's funny is a lot of you that are still going to keep waiting to, to refinance. Most people will refinance after the rates start going back up. So remember the yo-yo hits its lowest point. And now we're talking about like the escalator. The escalator might continue down for a year or two, but once it turns and starts coming up and then the yo-yo is on that upward trend, most people are gonna to start to refinance at that time because they're gonna say, whoa, I'm gonna lose out on the low rates. You need to be proactive and not reactive. Uh, even if you're not gonna do it now, you're gonna wait a little bit, maybe that works. Either way, I'm here to help you make that decision for yourself. Phil Stevenson, Mortgage Nerd, thanks.